why is it a problem? It's a problem because when you and me, that maybe we had sex, probably, you know, and we had a sex life and we know about what sex is, we can be critical when we watch porn. We know that what, what is real and what is not. But these young adults, when they watch porn, they don't know if it's real or if it's not. So they learn how to have sex with this kind of, of roles where me, men are supposed to act in one way and women are supposed to act in another. But it's not what they really feel. So for me, this is very important. It's very important to show sexuality as it is. Natural, realistic, the intimacy, the feeling, the passion. Um, I'm in my movies. I'm not. I'm. I'm I, I don't look for the gynecological, you know, images. That's not my goal. My goal is to, to, um, to communicate the, the the feeling of it. Then I don't hide these kind of images because I I like to see explicit images. But for me, it's it's one part of it. It's not all of it. Mm -hmm. I love that. Like, it's exciting. Um, so how do, you, how do you get inspired? Like, where do your inspirations come from? Uh, ooh, inspiration uh, comes from life, from small things in life, because my movies are very realistic. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, stories that friends are, calling me, uh, are telling me, uh, stories uh, uh, I hear when you know, I'm driving around in a cab and the taxi <laughs> driver tell me a story. Um, the small details, feelings, um, of course, uh, culture in general, uh, movies, uh, music, uh, and it comes from everywhere, mm -hmm. from life. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what would, I mean, you're talking a lot about sort of, mm. um, about like how, you know, your movies are different mm. from the movies that, you know, the general... Yes, population or making the traditional male <laughs> mm -hmm. pornography. Would you say that there is a difference between pornography that comes out of the US and pornography that comes out of Europe and comes out of different cultures? I guess there's there's some differences. Um, I mean in general we see in uh, porn in the US being very, you know, perfect bodies, uh, silicon girls, uh, quite plastic in many ways, and the European porn being more natural. Uh, but still, it's more or less the same in the end, you know? They change a little, but, but, but the structure of it, it's mm -hmm. all the same. The woman, she's there to help the man to get his pleasure out of it. And, and, and that's it. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I mean, that kind of basic thing is what we have to change. It's, it's a male vision, mm -hmm. even if it's a European man or an American man, but normally they are, you know, they come from the same kind of background, heterosexual, middle age, uh, the kind of, of guys, you know, with the, with the ideas of let's film the girls and see mm -hmm. what they are doing. And um, <laughs> to me, it's not so interesting. I think I think what happened with pornography. I used to say when when I, I tried to look at it in, in a, a little historical perspective, is that um, when when we see the first movies in the 60s and 70s, uh, behind these movies we have creators, somehow artists with a vision of of showing a liberal sexuality. Uh, I mean we're back at the time where where sexuality kind of got liberated and, and, and it was a reaction to a conservative society. And then what happened is that in the 80s uh, we get the VHAS. Oh, it is. You got Regan. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, <laughs> go back. So then what happening is that in the 80s uh, we get the video and the video takes down the cost of producing pornography. And a lot of, uh, of people around the industry that has like a strip club and, and they are you know, catching a video camera. They say, let's film the girls, let's get some, some porn out here. And they are starting to make porn. But they lose the vision. They don't have really a vision behind it. It's all about earning easy money and, and it's an industry you know, growing really fast because because they do earn a lot of 
money doing this. So it's getting a little like a sausage factory in a way, you know, it's producing videos, mm -hmm. videos, videos, videos. And then what I see is that in the end of the 90s, we have a change again because of technology, because we're getting, you know, internet, um, faster speed, uh, video is starting to 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 be we are we are starting to to be able to see to watch video in the internet uh, and the technology uh, the prices goes down uh, so a lot of, of young creators from different kind of backgrounds are suddenly getting their hands on 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 this technology and they see the opportunity of producing a different kind of pornography Mm -hmm. And this is, in a way, what happened to me um, in 2004 when, when, when I started, when I had made my first short film, The Good Girl. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do with it because I had this film that I liked very much and uh, I didn't know how to sell it. So I went to speak to some companies, but mainstream porn companies, but they were not really interested in it. And then I sent it to festivals and I started to, to win prizes and people really, you know, they really loved it. Uh, so I said, what should I do with it? And, um, and uh, I guess there we understood that there was a possibility to, to put it on the internet. Mm -hmm. So I started a blog and I put it on the internet and suddenly people were coming to my blog. I don't know, I have no clue how they found me, you know. It, but, but this, this video got a little viral in it, in, in, yeah, you could say it got viral and, and people were telling people and they were coming to my blog and they were downloading it and they were streaming it and they were looking mm -hmm. at it and they were writing to me. So I got a lot of energy and I said, wow, so they must like it. I should make more. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's so funny because it's, it's, it follows that whole idea of like the, you know, the porno idea of the pizza delivery man, you know, sex yes. exactly, but it's just, it's such a different energy. And I mean, it was the first film I saw of yours and I just, you know, I was sold after that. Yeah. It's phenomenal. It's, but the, I, I don't know, it's, it was just nice in a way, you know, it was sweet. There was, it was super someone sweet. called it cute pornography you know, and they were like, wow, this is completely different. Uh, and, and I mean, the female character, she was the, the main character, and that's, that's very, very different. Uh, like, I can even, you know, even the music behind it, like, I can, I can hear the song in my head, you know what I mean? Because, like, I, I mean, it's funny when you... Still today I get emails almost every week with people, you know, asking me who... Where, where does this song come from? What happened? And actually, it was it was kind of a fun story because I, I when I produced it, I didn't know how to how to do this thing with the music, so I just put in the beginning commercial music in the background. Uh, so I had shows and a song from YouTube, you YouTube, YouTube. Uh, uh, a beautiful day was the original song that I put in that video. But then when I when I wanted to send it to festivals, I had to take it out and make another song. So I went to this little studio in Barcelona, a music studio, and we produced the music originally for it. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. That's so exciting. So I, said, I want something looking like a beautiful day of you too. Please help me. <laughs> oh, wow. That's... Yeah. I love that story. <laughs> no, um, and, I, and actually... What happened when I when when I put this video on the blog was that suddenly we got so much traffic, so we couldn't really handle the traffic because it had a cost. And then Hot Movies stepped in, and they told me that they could host my video. Uh, so oh. yes. Oh no, I, I didn't know that that we yes, were connected so that way. Yes, there's a background Hot Movies. They really helped me to start in this business. Yes. Oh good, I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you, Hot Movies. <laughs> um, so well, that's well done. Yeah. <laughs> For you, you produce the, the the music and everything. So when you when you yeah. um, make the movies, do you just direct or do you shoot as well? Do you do everything? Uh, there has been a development <laughs> from the beginning, I can say. But I, I'm. Um, I'm always, you know, I'm, I'm the creator behind it. I have the idea, I write the script, I put together the pre-production. Uh, but then I work with the team. I, I, my movies are made quite professionally. Uh, we are quite a big team around. Mm -hmm. 